guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday to everybody. So I am here today to do hopefully a couple of videos um, just so I can get some stuff recorded. As you can tell, I've been struggling with uploading just a tad over the last few weeks. So um, I'm going to start out with this tag video. And by the way, I do have my lovely assistant, Stella, here. Um, Stella, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Can you say hello? Oh, it's so good. Okay, good job. You keep smelling your Scentsy Bars. So oh, this... Scentsy Bars! I smell. You want to smell? No, I don't, I don't want to smell, but you can smell, okay? Just don't eat them. Um, so this is a tag that was created by Yvette from Miss Outlaw Beauty and um, Sarah over at Primp Polish Shine. So they're the ones that came up with these questions together, and I was tagged by both ladies, and then I also watched Skylar from Skylar Aesthetics video, and she tagged me as well. So it's time to actually do this. Three people, I think it's time. Okay, so here are the questions. I'm just going to run through them, and just know that if you don't like interruptions, this is a bad video to watch, because... There's a kid around. If you don't like kids, you should also I think, just text out. Because she's here and she's not going anywhere. She never goes anywhere. I'm not going. <laughs> I know you're not going. I'm not okay. Going shopping. No, we're not going shopping right now. No. store. Nope, not right now. Mama's gonna answer some questions. Okay. Okay. Do you keep up with the Kardashians? No. I don't dislike them, but I'm just not really into them. Um, I think they're kind of self-absorbed. And that's kind of a turn-off to me. Please don't do that. Stop doing that. Yeah, go play with your suitcase. <laughs> okay, if you could have an old muscle car, which one would you choose? I know nothing about cars at all. I, I don't care about cars. I drive a 2013... Dodge Grand Caravan, and I love it. And I'm gonna rock that thing like for years to come. So, I, I, a muscle car like that would be something like small, right? Like a Mustang or something. No, I can't fit my crap in there. I would not want one of those at all. Do you curse like a sailor when the camera isn't rolling? Oh yeah, all the time. And for those of you that tell me I need to knock it off because my kid will pick it up, I'm aware. Um, but I grew up in a house where my parents cussed, and it's not the end of the world. Stella has maybe said a word or two, but, I mean, in the grand scheme of life, I have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> but yes, I do curse. Um, if your significant other gave you a hall pass, who would you use it on? Be honest. Eddie Vedder. From Pearl Jam <laughs> and Craig knows it too um, Craig has a whole bunch of like, ladies on his list um, I don't who I don't remember who like oh my gosh like Jennifer Aniston he has like his list is long but for me really like Eddie Vedder which is funny because he totally is not like a dude that most ladies would be like, oh, I just, but I love his voice. I've loved Pearl Jam for years and years and years. I just think he's so sexy. Um, and I don't know, he could like sing me to sleep and I'd be very happy. Um, what is one thing that you do that you hate to admit? Um, I don't know if this is necessarily something that I do, but like I don't handle stress well. And um, that's really kind of a bummer. <laughs> Because it takes its toll on my health. During the summer, I literally become like the most unhealthy person that you've ever met in your life. I binge eat to sort of cope. And then I feel like crap. Then I try to like overcome that by like not eating very much at all sometimes. <laughs> so in my head that the calories balance out. And so it just like... It's just not good, and it's actually one of the reasons why I am pulling back, um, you know, other than the main reason being Stella, 
on my work next year. I am only going to be focusing on doing wedding flowers because I just can't live this lifestyle anymore where I am doing like 60 weddings in four months. It's not healthy and um, yeah, I just, I hate to admit that I can't handle that kind of stress, but I just, I can't. Do you brush your teeth in the morning and at night? Be honest. Yes. Um, the other night though, um, Sunday night, I guess it would be Monday morning technically, I didn't get home until like two in the morning from a wedding that I was at. And um, honestly, I was just too damn tired. So, oh yeah, look at that. Well, now she's taking all the movies out of the closet. That's great. Um, so yeah, that, but it's rare that I don't brush my teeth every morning and night. And I use a Sonicare. Love that thing. Love it. Um, what's your go-to drink at Starbucks? It's so like plain Jane. It is a n grande non-fat latte. It's just my favorite. <laughs> is your current hair color your real hair color? Hell no. I have not had my real hair color since I was in middle school. It's been a really long time. And I was in middle school in like 1992. In a long time. Um, if you could, well, I was born a blonde. Let me just say that. You guys just saw Stella at the beginning. She's blonde. My husband's blonde. I am just now completely gray. So, but for some reason in middle school, I didn't want to be blonde. I wanted to be a redhead, so I would dye my hair red. It's bad. Um, if you could swap bodies with someone, who would it be and why? So I'm gonna say a YouTuber. And it's Aileen from Nelia476. If you guys don't follow her on Instagram, dude, Aileen is so hot. <laughs> she does like the um, like beach body coaching and stuff. Oh my gosh. You should see her abs. Like she has abs and like you can see them like through her skin, like her stomach skin. I think that's just incredible. Like I would love to just have her body for like a week and just... I would just walk around naked. I would. She's so hot. It, she works out all the time, and that's that's how she got there. Like it, it takes a lot of work. I'm planning on joining one of her groups in the fall. It might kick my ass, and I don't think I'll turn out looking anything like her. But if I get even like a quarter of the way there, I'd be a happy camper. Um. Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? If so, what did you think? I read the first book, and I liked it. Um, I mean, it wasn't like a super intellectual read, but I mean, it was entertaining. Um, I do plan on seeing the movie. I did not read the other two books in the series. I'd be curious to read them, but I didn't feel like buying them, so I don't know. Maybe some of my friends have the other two, and I can borrow them. Do you crack your knuckles? Yes, I do, especially when I'm stressed. <laughs> Have you accidentally text messaged mesh it? Have you accidentally text messaged? There we go. Someone something you were supposed to be sending to your special someone. No, I don't send those types of things to my special someone. I'm guessing that's like implying sexting. There's no sexy lady pictures of me floating on the interwebs or in the text world. Craig knows that won't happen. <laughs> have you ever created a fake profile to creep on someone? No. Who has time for that? I don't have time for that. What is your weakness? Cookies or pastries? How about both? Um, I love carbs in general. Both. I really love macarons. Oh my gosh. Weddings where they have macarons. I'm like, oh hey. I'm going to eat like 10 of those. You guys okay with that? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't eat 10, but... I definitely love both. I love cookies. I love pastries. I mean, really anything sweet. I am into it. Sweet and carby. Um, what do you love about yourself? I love my compassion. Um, I love to be able to help others. That's why I ended up getting a degree in social work. Um, clearly, I didn't last very long in the field. Um, but... I've always wanted to help others. I've always wanted to help animals. I, and that's something that I really want to instill in Stella. Um, it's very important to me that she has compassion for others and that she does things to make um, life better for other people around her because she's very fortunate. Um, you know, she comes from a family where she is able to 
get everything that she needs, everything that she wants, and I want her to go out of her way to help others who don't have that opportunity to, to get the things that they need, whether it be like, you know, like helping kids like get school supplies or um, donating to our favorite pug rescue organization, you know, so financially or like, you know, just giving people hugs, like things like that. I just, I think that's so important. And I really love that about myself. And that's something that I really want to see Stella um, have as well as she grows up. Oh my God, the mess. Okay. No, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, do you have, do you have to match your toenail polish to your nail polish? No. Oh my God. I never, like I need a pedicure really bad and I have a gift certificate for a couple of pedicures, but I haven't actually had time to go get them. Um, I never do my nails really because I do wedding flowers and there's just, it, the nail polish just falls off my nails when I do flowers. So there's, plus there's no time, there's no time for that. Maybe in the fall. <laughs> Tell us a few things about yourself, um, about you that people would be surprised to know about you. English is not my first language. I was born in Germany. I'm a German citizen still, so I never got my U.S. citizenship. My stepdad is American. That's how I ended up over here, but both of my biological parents are German. So um, I guess another fact is that, so I still understand German, but I can no longer speak it. When we moved to the U.S., my mom sort of had the policy that um, we needed to learn English. <laughs> So we weren't allowed to speak it at home anymore, um, you know, and she had to learn English as well. So um, she knew, a, she knew obviously more than what we did. She learned English in high school in Germany. So, um, you know, she had a good basic understanding of the English language, but we did not because I didn't start speaking it until I was like 10 um, when we moved here. So um, there's that. Um, I have two tattoos. One kind of between my shoulder blades and one on my lower right flank area on my back. I got the first one when I was 19 and it's a German flag and I got the second one when I was 21 or 22, I can't remember. And it's a Celtic knot on my upper back and it was just a design that I really liked. I don't regret either of them. I would actually like to get one more tattoo but Craig hates them. So that's my compromise is I won't be getting any more tattoos. <laughs> um, and let's see, one more thing. I hated being pregnant. I don't think that's like an unknown fact, but I had horrible morning sickness for five months. And, um, you know, I only ever really wanted one child, but like going through that while I was pregnant with Stella cemented the fact that I would never, ever, ever be pregnant again and I made Craig go get a vasectomy six weeks after Stella was born. We fixed that problem permanently. <laughs> heels or flats? Flats. I have a closet. I'm just, I'm staring at this closet full of heels, which is currently being ransacked by my toddler. Um, I have some really great heels in there, um, but I just, I don't have the lifestyle for heels right now, so maybe when Stella gets a little bit older and maybe I go get like a part-time job or something in an office setting, I'll wear them again. But dude, I rock flats at weddings. Mostly flip-flops actually. <laughs> um, if you could do anything for one day and money wasn't an option, how would you spend your day dream big? So I would do two things. So. I would like to take just a crap ton of money and donate it to um, like either animal shelters or um, like organizations that help animals in some kind of way. I would love to spend part of my day doing that, just driving around and giving them checks so that they can do basically just continue to the amazing work that they do to help animals. Um, and then the second thing that I would do, so the selfish part of <laughs> that day would be that I would want to go and get just a ton of spa treatments and um, just literally spend like six hours in a spa, like getting massaged and like getting one of those like full body scrub treatments and like getting my hair done, getting a pedicure, like just spending hours, like just 
having people pamper me. That sounds so nice. <laughs> so there's the giving part and then there's the selfish part too. <laughs> I'm talking like a nice spa, like top of the line stuff. Um, what is the last YouTube video you watched? It was actually uh, Sarah's from Print, Polish, and Shine. It was last night, and it was her and her mom just answering, like, random questions. It was really cute. Her mom's adorable, um, and Sarah's very, you know, just sweet and kind herself, and um, I really liked watching that video. Her mom was just a hoot to listen to. Reminds me a little bit of my mom. Do you have road rage? Yes, Absolutely especially when I'm trying to get to a wedding because I have to be there on time and some a-hole is in my way going like 20 miles under the speed limit and there's no way to get around him. I don't watch. What do you want to watch? I watch. No, you're not watching that movie. That's not a good movie. No. She wants to watch old school. It's not happening. Who was your first kiss? Do you still talk to them? Um, my first kiss was when I was probably like eight and it was a boy named Christopher and no, I have no contact with him. None whatsoever. He's somewhere in Germany, I'm assuming. <laughs> if you could have one YouTuber's closet, who would it be? You guys, I'm so not into clothes. I know a lot of people said Lisa Lisa D1. I mean, I guess. I just... I don't care about fashion. I just don't. I just want to be comfortable. Like, whoever has a closet full of, like, Lululemon yoga pants, I want their closet because I could wear those every single day of my life. They make my ass look amazing. And they just suck me in really nicely, and they just look super flattering. So, uh, do you know anyone that has a closet full of Lululemon yoga pants? I don't know who that would be, but that person. If you could have one YouTuber's makeup collection, whose would it be? Tara Babies. <laughs> Everybody wants her makeup collection, and that's my answer as well. I mean, she has absolutely everything that was, like, ever invented in the makeup world. So, yeah, that would be fun to play with. Do you have a nickname? Where did my child go? I think she left the room. Um, yes, growing up, I had several. Uh, Mel Monster, Melon Head, Melons. I had big boobs. Not anymore, though. I took care of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say melon head was a big one because I have a giant head. Um, I swear my head was this big when I was born, and I just kind of, like, grew into it a little bit more. I mean, it's it's still large. It's still large head. But, um, yeah, melon head and mel monster. I don't know where mel monster came from, but... What do you think the best thing about is about your YouTube channel? Um, I think that I'm extremely honest. Like, I would never, like, lie to you guys about anything. This is just, like, a little side hobby for me. So I don't take it as seriously as maybe some YouTubers do. And um, I'm not saying that they're not honest. But I think that, you know, when you're making, like, a true income from this probably do what it takes to make a true income from this. You need my help? What do you need my help with? You need help with a movie? Okay. Um, I don't, this is Austin Powers, and I don't think you would like this. Do you know anything about Austin Powers? Yeah. You do? Okay. Can you wait just five minutes? Okay. okay, five minutes. Thank you. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just, like, I would never, like, be dishonest with you guys. If I didn't like something, I would just tell you if I didn't like something. So I think my honesty is probably, like, the biggest thing. Um, you know, and I'll kind of take it one step further. I think the thing that I don't really like about my channel is that, like, at this time of the year, I don't have the time to dedicate to it that I really want to. You know, it's a struggle for me to respond to people's comments right now. And um, that's kind of hard for me because um, I take it seriously in the fact that, like, I appreciate all of your guys' support and your encouragement. And that part of it is very important to me. And it's important for me to, like, let you guys know that I do appreciate that and that I just enjoy that interaction so much. 
Um, so yeah, it's just, I don't like the fact that there are like several months during the year where I can't be as involved in it as I would like to, but that will all be changing here in about another two months and it won't ever be a problem again. Come on. Um, Turn it up. How many cars have you had? What were they? Uh, so I had a 1982 Honda Prelude. That was my very first car. Then I crashed that. Then I got a Chevy Celebrity and it was like a 1987 Chevy Celebrity. It was like the boat car. It was hilarious. Then I had a Hyundai Accent and I I didn't crash that. Some lady ran a stop sign in her brand new Jag. She was 90. Like what was she doing with a brand new Jag? So she just like ran a stop sign and like I T-boned her with my Hyundai Accent. My little two-door Hyundai Accent going like 35 miles an hour. It totaled my car. My friends joked that the Hyundai Accent was like so it had the nickname of Mobile Crematorium because they figured that like if I hit anything going anything like faster than like 10 miles an hour, the car would just like explode. Um, thankfully it didn't and I survived, but um, totaled my car. I was two car payments away from having that stupid thing paid off. So pissed. Then I got a Nissan Sentra, which I loved, and I had the Nissan Sentra up until a year ago when I bought the Dodge Grand Caravan, which I now use to deliver flowers to people all over this great state. You're welcome, people. Uh, no, I love my Dodge Grand Caravan. It's amazing. That's What's your favorite talking. pizza? I like any pizza. I'm just, I'm talking for like two more minutes, okay? That's talking mama. Don't tell me to stop talking. <laughs> My favorite pizza is anything with like veggies on it. I love like veggie type pizzas and then, you know, like sprinkle some bacon or some kind of meat on there as well and I'm happy. Pizza's not my favorite food, though. If you could only have one lipstick for the rest of your life, which lipstick would you choose? I would choose MAC Viva Glam 2. It's been my favorite for a really long time. It's a nude. It's, it's perfection. It's a satin finish. It's long-lasting. It's not overly drying. I just, and I love the color on me, so um, that is what I would choose. Okay, so I'm going to tag some people down below, but, like, I think everybody was tagged <laughs> between, like... Um, Yvette, Skylar, and Sarah. So I'll just retag some people down below. So take a peek down there. And if I don't tag you and you want to do this, definitely um, do it. It's kind of a fun one and it's a good way to get to know somebody a little bit better. So thank you ladies for tagging me. Um, I hope that you found this fun and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.